Said, but I'm working on that. Hello, ba Sophie. You got glasses today. What color? I have glasses and I've worn them on here. I have two pair, but the pair that I wear the most, they are blue because I absolutely love blue. What color are your glasses? You're happy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that you're happy that I'm back. And I think I have an interesting book tonight. It's interesting to me. I want to see what you all are thinking. And you know you need to tell me, how's school going? How's school going? Everybody, let's see, I've got fourth grade on here. I've got second grade on here. And I've got different, yes, your sister did see me. So I've got first grade on here. Yes, 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 yes. Hi, mom. Thank you for joining me. And so who's watching me? Jaden, Amaya, who's watching? Who's watching? Amaya, are you in first grade or are you in second grade this year? I hope you're in first grade because I hope you'll be in my second grade class. Where are you? Pink and black. My mom sent a picture to you. Okay. I'll check the picture when I finish on here so I can see that. Pink and black. I'm visualizing. I'm visualizing and I see like a pattern, like maybe a cheetah pattern. I don't know, but that's what I'm visualizing. So I have to check. Everybody's watching. Thanks, 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 thanks. Oh, Ninja's on his own. Okay, so Jonas can do his typing and Ninja can do his own typing. Yes, yes. Oh, no, who's your teacher? Amaya, who's your teacher? I'm not your teacher. Who's the teacher? Who's your teacher, Amaya? Oh, I forgot you all moved. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. So I've got first grade. I've got second grade. I've got fourth grade. I don't know if I have anybody on third grade right now. But tell me, you all, tell me about school. Tell me something about school. You, well, Amaya, Jaden, and I forgot you all's older brother. You have to tell me again. You all have been in school for a little bit. But I believe everybody else, you just started school this Monday. So tell me about school. How's it going? Thumbs up. Still trying to figure it out. I definitely hope it's not this. I hope it's not this. Oh, are you in third grade? Sophie, you're in third grade. Okay, so yay. I got first. I got second. I got third. I got fourth. And Amaya, Elijah, what grade are you? You might be like maybe sixth. Sixth. Tell me, Elijah, what grade are you? This is week three for you all. Wow. So yeah, you all are just about ready for a progress report if you haven't gotten it yet. School is great. Sister loves it. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, Lucas, I got another first grader. Hi, Lucas. So now you've seen me in the hallway a couple of times. So you can recognize like, hey, I've seen her at my school. Seventh grade. Okay, okay. First time going into the building. Oh, wow. So tell me her name one more time. Type it for me. I'm going to have to write it down. I'm going to have to write it down because I keep forgetting. You know, I have so many names and I want to remember. And she saw me and I said, you are Ariana's sister. She was like, yes. So still looking. I see some thumbs up. I see a thumbs up for Lucas. All right. All right. All right. All right. Very good. So tonight, as I've already said, I have a book that I think is pretty interesting. And the first thing that I want you all to think about after I give you some information, is this book fiction? Callie, I'm going to write that down. Is this book fiction? Fake, just for fun or to hook me and scare me or to shock me, or to make me laugh? Or is this book nonfiction? Facts and facts and facts and facts and facts. As soon as you get that in your head, fiction, fake, nonfiction, real, type it for me. This book 
It's going to be about an animal. Is that enough detail? Well, probably not, because if I look right here, I see an animal, and that's fiction. And then if I look over here, I see animals, and that's nonfiction. Let me give you some more details. You know, details are extremely good. And this book has photos, no drawings, it has photos, it has charts. It has words in bold, and you can go to that back and look in the glossary to find out what those bold words mean. This book has a table of contents. Am I talking fact, nonfiction, or am I talking fake, fiction? I see nonfiction, I see nonfiction. All right. Those of you who said nonfiction, you're correct. And the next thing is, I want, I want to make sure I can see you all, what you're saying to me. Okay. This animal lives under the water. As soon as you get a picture in your head and you can think of the animal that I'm talking about, type it in. This animal has fins. This animal is bigger than me. So that means it's bigger than you. What are you all thinking? This animal likes to go way down to the bottom and it swims along the ocean floor. I see shark. Thank you, Ninja. Oh, I see nonfiction. Thank you, uh, Lucas. Fact. Thank you, Thurston family, because I don't know who's typing. This animal has a very strange head. And it's got eyes on the side. So my head stops here. This animal head spreads out. Boop. The eyes are here. What is it? I'm going to wait a little bit because I know there's a little bit of a delay. What is it? I see shark. Caprice Phelps, I've forgotten. Is that a Leah? Is that my Leah? Wells, Manta Ray, Hammerhead Shark. Let's see. I'll tell you the one if you got it right. Bam! Hammerhead Sharks. That face is stretched out. And here's this eye. We can't even see the other eye. All right. So, hey, Leah. Oh, Nyla, Nyla, Leah. Ah, I got my people. I got my people. Yes, yes, yes. Connector. And my, ooh, is he L E I G A J. Thank you for joining me. So, I would love if you all would learn seven facts from this book. See if when we are finished reading this book, if you will know seven things about hammerhead sharks. And before I get started, and I need to start, because you know I was talking, I'd be like, ah, my time is up. Wait, 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 wait. So what is something that you think you will learn in this book? But some of you all just tell me, what do you think you might learn in this book or you might see in this nonfiction book, thank you, Bell Weather Media, for donating this book to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I absolutely love reading your books. And yes, you all did get it right. Nyla Leah. What's something you might see in this book? Tell me. I'm going to go ahead to that table of contents. Hammerhead Sharks by Rebecca Pettiford. What it eats. Yep, I bet we'll see that. I miss you too. A lot of sharks, okay. We are going to learn what are hammerhead sharks. That starts on page four. We're going to learn headhunters. What might that mean? Why would they call it a headhunter? We'll find out starting on page eight. Hungry carnivores. Carnivores means that they only eat meat. 
What meat do you think a hammerhead shark eats? We'll start that on page 14. Deep dive on the great hammerhead shark, starting on page 20. And then that glossary in the back, 22. That's just Zandra! Z, hi! That is just a little small dictionary that's gonna tell us what some of the words mean in this book. All right, so we're going on, Zandra. I know you just got on. I'm looking to see if you can learn seven things about hammerhead sharks. And then I'll just ask you all to share maybe one with me. Let's see if you can get seven. I learned a lot. I'm showing you an actual photo. They have labeled things on the shark. Look at those teeth. I do not want it to bite me. Ah. This says cephalofoil, great hammerhead shark, great hammerhead shark. Do you think there might be more than one type of hammerhead shark? Is that why they call it a great one? Hammerhead sharks have flat hammered shaped heads. This special head shape is called a cephalofoil. 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 Hammerhead sharks live in shallow waters all over the world. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. These bolded words. That means I can go into my glossary and look at it, and it's in ABC order. So let's see what a cephalofoil is. I think they told us here. This special head shape is called a cephalofoil, but let's look. A, B, C, cephalofoil. The hammer or wing-like shape of a hammerhead shark's head. Okay, so that's this, the hammer or wing-like. Shallow waters, you already know what that means, but we'll look it up, not deep. Let's make a connection. How many of you have ever gone into a pool and you got in the shallow part, which means that you can walk into the water and the water would come maybe about right here. That would be the shallow part. The deep part, you have to swim because your feet would not be able to touch the floor. You float right on up to the top. Anybody done that? Hammerhead sharks live in shallow waters all over the world. They are found in coastal areas and along continental shelves. Continental, continents. If you've passed second grade, you should know North America, South America, Africa, Asia, Europe, Australia, Antarctica. You all should know that. All right, so we're looking at here and I'm looking for the continental shelves. The edge of large areas of land that lie under the ocean and slope down to the ocean floor. So they have the shallow part and it goes down. Yes, 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 I see you all making those connections. So that means that if you're standing in the water, you might be able to see a hammerhead. Great hammerhead shark range. We're here, we're talking about where they live. What do you think we're gonna see here? This page is talking about where they live, shallow water, along continental shelves. What am I going to see here? Well, it's going to match. They're showing you a map of where they live, range where they live. So around all the continents here, all the continents, I see them. I was very surprised. Most of you are here in Virginia. That's about right there. That means that hammerhead sharks will be right in the Atlantic Ocean. That's one thing I didn't know. Can you come up with seven? How many different types of hammerhead sharks do you think there are? Do you think there's just one type? Two, three? I'll give you a hint. They call this one the great hammerhead shark. I think that means that they're gonna be more because they didn't just say hammerhead. So give me a good guess. Give me a prediction. How many hammerhead sharks do you think? Nyla says 100. That's a whole lot, Nyla. Who else? Who else is gonna predict? Nyla, have you and Aaliyah seen each other? 
Somebody else give me a prediction. How many hammerheads before I take this off? Three. Thank you, Sophie. I'm slowly going to move it. Thank you, Jonas. Four. Oh, my goodness, Zandra. Oh, looks like you've got 100,000 there. There are 10 species of hammerhead sharks. Did you know that? Did you know that there were that many different types of hammerhead sharks? The smallest is 35 inches. Let me grab my ruler. Or actually, my yardstick here. The smallest one is about this size. That's the smallest. If I were to stop right here, this is 35. That's the smallest. And they say, but great hammerhead sharks can grow up to 20 feet long. Whoa, 20 feet. That's, that's pretty long. Here, they're showing you an average human, six feet, it's taller than me, and this, 11 feet. This is the scalloped hammerhead shark. We've seen two of them. Scalloped hammerhead shark and a human. Would you wanna be that close to that shark? Give me a thumbs up if yes, give me a thumbs down if no. Some species are overfished. Now I want you all to think about what does that mean? Somebody please tell me, and I'm gonna hide the rest of my words here. Some species, there are 10 of them, are overfished. What does that mean? What does overfished mean? You'd wanna be that close to it? Leah, I don't know about that. Zandra, I'm with you, I don't wanna be that close. What do you all think overfished means? <laughs> I see yes, it's a no. People are trying to save hammerheads by setting controls over fishing or on fishing. That means that people go fishing and they fish, they catch the hammerhead and they take it and maybe they eat it or they do different things with it. And so now it's like, wait a minute, some of these species are, yeah, they're taking too much, too much. Yes, yes, Ariana. Headhunters. What might that mean? What in the world is a headhunter? I want you all to think about that. Somebody tell me, what does that mean? A headhunter. Oh, this one is a smooth hammerhead shark. And if you look at it like this, this hammerhead and this one, they don't look alike. Yes, they have the cephalofoil. Yes, they have the eyes on the sides of their head, but look at this one. Up, bump, curve, straight. Yes, they're different. They hunt with their heads. You are right. Hammerheads have an eye at each end of their heads. This allows the sharks to see all around them. So that means, we can look, I can see about right here with my peripheral vision and about right here. So that's it. But because their eyes are there, they can see all the way around them. While they're swimming, they can see all the way around them. They can see everything. They can hunt. Oh, I see you. Oh, you're behind me. Let me whip around and get you. That's pretty cool. Yet there's something else. There's something else. Their cephalofoil helps them spot prey. It also helps them to get away from predators because they can see everything all the way around them, even better than an owl. Owls can see about 270, which is not all the way around. But they can see 360, which is all the way around. All sharks have sensors. Sharks have little small sparks, spots, I'm sorry, spots that look like freckles. And if I get this up here, 
you all can see it a little bit here, I think. Can you see those spots? Those spots are sensors. And while the shark is swimming around, they're able to sense something is moving over there. Just like maybe if you all have a ring doorbell or maybe if you have a sensor in your classroom when you walk around, this light comes on because it can tell that you're moving. They have that on their bodies. And the hammerhead, because he's got this huge face, he has even more sensors than all the other sharks. So there might be something down here that's just barely moving. And a hammerhead can sense it and get it. Hammerheads have more sensors than other sharks. How can you tell it's a hammerhead? The long part of the face, that is the cephalofoil, dorsal fin, the color. It's dark colored back. The sensors are spread out on the underside of their heads. They help the sharks easily find food. What if we had sensors? We have senses, this one, this one, this one, this one, that one, but we're not able to tell something moving around down there, unless you can hear it. Down at the bottom, swimming around. Hammerhead sharks are strong swimmers. They use their dorsal fins to twist and turn. The sharks have gray, brown, or dark green backs. Now you gotta remember they're 10 different species, so they can be different colors. This coloring acts as camouflage when they swim close to the ocean floor. Imagine scuba diving. And there's a hammerhead shark down at the ocean floor. I wonder how close will we have to get if they're camouflaged? I wonder how close will we have to get before we say, oh my gosh, that's a hammerhead. I think looking at the ones that they have here, I think this is the great hammerhead. I just want to go back. This is not the great hammerhead. It looks a little bit different. And this one, the smooth hammerhead. Which one would you like to see if you were to see a hammerhead? This one was the scalloped hammerhead, but we don't see his face very good. Which one would you like to see? Or would you like to see more than one? What are we about to learn about in this section? I see the mouth open and I see a fish. I see a stingwit. I see a squid. Okay, the scalloped hammerhead, the gray hammerhead. Very nice. I like how you all have different answers. What's going on here? What are we about to learn about? What has the book not told us about? Very good. What does it eat? Hungry carnivores. Ah, snatch it out. You don't want to see any of them, Sandra? <laughs> Hammerheads are carnivores. They eat stingrays. Well, let's think about this. Stingrays are dangerous. They could sting you and you can get really hurt or you could die. And he wants to go and sense and find a stingray and eat it? Oh, they eat squid, which is like calamari. I eat that. And fish. I eat that too. Yes, there are... Um, they are at the aquarium. I think, haven't been in a while, but I think that you can find a hammerhead at the aquarium in Virginia Beach. I think so. Do you all eat fish? Anybody out here eat fish? Fish sticks? Some species use their heads like clubs to strike prey. And so when it goes and it sees that stingray, bam! It's gonna hit the stingray with its head. Then start to eat it. Would you do that? If you went fishing, are you going to hit it with your head and then just immediately start eating it? No, no, no. We don't do that. Then they use their sharp teeth to tear the food apart. I think that's what we see 
Well, here we can see the T. And I believe that's part of its mouth. Hammerhead sharks hunt at night. What's that word mean? When we go to bed, because we're up in the day, we're called diurnal. Diurnal. What is it called to be up at night whew, and to go and start eating or working? What is that called? They prowl shallow waters looking for food. Some hunt alone while others hunt in groups. Looks like this species, and to me, this looks like the great hammerhead shark. They're in groups. The sharks may migrate over 750 miles to look for food. Let's, let's go look up this word. You all that have passed second grade, you should know what migrate means. And go to that little dictionary. Migrate. To move from one area to another, often with the seasons. They're migrating for food. We don't have to do that. We don't have to do that. We just go to the store and then come back home. The word I was looking for is that they are nocturnal. If you're awake at night, if you stay up, or if you're waking up at night, like you all said, you are nocturnal. They are nocturnal. What? This is big. They said that the smallest one, again, is about the size of this, and the largest one can be 20 feet. What's going to eat it? What is a predator for a hammerhead shark? Tell me, what can eat something that's this big? They don't have many. Hammerhead sharks do not have many predators, but they have to watch out for, I wanna wait and see if I can get an answer. What do they have to watch out for? What lives in the water that would want to eat a hammerhead shark? What might it be, you all? What lives in the water that might want to eat a hammerhead shark? Other sharks? Okay, Thurston family. Well, all right. But they have to watch out for great white sharks and orcas and orcas are whales Good job. people are threats too these sharks are unique members of the ocean world all right tell me what's one of the things that you learned about these hammerhead sharks go ahead and type that what's one of the things that you learned about these hammer Head sharks. Maybe it could be why did the author call them unique? Unique means very different. While you're typing that, deep dive on the great hammerhead shark. And this is the great one, the one I would like to see. It's got the cephalofoil. It's got those senses on there. The dorsal fin, dark body. Lifespan, it lives about 30 years. Length up to 20 feet. The weight, look at this, a thousand pounds. Whoa. Top speed, 25 miles an hour. How deep they go down in the water, the depth range, 984 feet. They eat sting rays, they have vision everywhere. They eat jellyfish, they eat jellyfish. Baby hammerhead shark is one yard. Now, when we look at this, this tells us, should we be concerned about them or not? They're extinct like dinosaurs. They are only alive in zoos, extinct in the wild. That's with these colors. And look where the hammerhead is. Look how close it is to only being alive at an aquarium or a zoo. They're afraid of great white sharks. Look at that. It's kind of sad to me. It says conservation status critically endangered. Hopefully they don't disappear. They are big. I miss you. You're the best. Oh, 
time. Thank you, Nyla. And that is the end. Did you all like this book? I really like this book because I learned a lot about the hammerhead sharks because actually all I knew really was that it had that hammer looking head. I did not know that they could get up to be 20 feet. I did not know that they were nocturnal. I did not know that they ate jellyfish. I did not know that they had sensors that would detect if there was some movement going on. What was that, five? I didn't know that there were 10 different species of jellyfish. I'm sorry, hammerhead sharks. And I did not know that they ate squid. I don't know if I said that. Okay, Sophie. I promise you, next time, I'm writing it down, we'll be in Zoom and it will be Magic Treehouse. Do you have a particular book? Because I know you've been reading Magic Treehouse. Janicia, Speedy! Ah! Do you have a particular book, Sophie, that you would like for us or for me to read? And I'll see if I have it. If I don't have it here, I'll have it in my classroom. But I'm promising to you that we're going to do, I'll put in zone. We're going to do the Magic Treehouse. So everyone that's on here, the next time we'll be in Zoom. And that means I won't be live on here. I'll have to send you all a Zoom link and you can join me in Zoom. Okay, so I'll pick the book. If anybody has a Magic Treehouse book that you would like for me to read, Go ahead and put that in the comments. Thank you all for joining me. I've missed you. 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 I'm so glad you're back. New people and those of you who will join and watch later, please make sure that if you're watching on YouTube that you hit the subscribe button. If you're on Facebook, please like and follow so that you can get all of my notifications because sometimes I'll be on here. Sometimes I'll be in Zoom. If anybody needs tutoring, Please look me up at KeishaYuri.com or FreeYourGreatness.net, and I'll be ready to help you. But before you all go, you know what we got to do. I want you to think of one thing that makes you happy, one thing that makes you smile, one thing that makes you go. And I want you to get that in your head, and I want you to lock it in. I want you to think of one thing that you did that you were proud of. Something that when you think about it, you're like, oh my gosh, I did it, I did it, I did it. Think of it, think of it, think of it. And I want you to lock that in. So you should have the thing that you're happy about. You should have the thing that you did that you're proud of. I want you to lock it in, lock it in, lock it in. Inhale, exhale, smile, you're beautiful. Thank you all so much for joining me. Mason, yes, Mason, my Mason this year. Thank you for joining me, Mason. If you've missed the beginning, Mason, you gotta go back. Because I read a really cool book about hammerhead sharks. It's really, really cool, Mason. You'll have to go back and watch it all. And I thank you all for coming. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Your homework. Your homework. Your homework. You need to do something to make someone else smile. Because if you do something to make someone else smile, it's going to happen for you, too. It's going to make you happy, too. I'll see you all in two weeks. Well, we will be in Zoom and we'll be reading a Magic Treehouse book. Thank you. Bye.